So I basically take my paintings that I don't like and then I end up coloring on them. I've got a few of them that I end up doing this to. This is, I think, the third one that I'm doing this week. Um, so, hey Joe. So I use a lot of um, Posca pens, Poshka, however you want to pronounce that. And then um, for the silver, I use a liquid chrome. So this shit is amazing. Um, you can see it's like highly reflective. I think it's one of my favorite things like here. I will show you. This is like one of the thinner ones that I use. But like, how insane is that? Makes everything look really cool. There it goes. So yeah, these, uh, I just started figuring out how to draw flowers. I know that sounds stupid enough. Um, oh yeah, um, so the not, I uh, can't read it, sorry. Um, so I am a uh, she, her, so pronouns, I appreciate you asking. Yeah, so sometimes the pen, um, so whenever, so I don't, can you see how shiny this is right here? So I've already sealed um, the base layer and this is all alcohol ink. Um, if I don't seal this beforehand, uh, and I don't think I have an example, uh, when you use these pens, it ends up like chipping it up. Um, so when you seal it first, then you draw on top, you get a really nice top layer like can you see how matte that black is? Um, it doesn't shine through, whereas otherwise you would have a problem. Let's see, do you ever just start with some random shape or have someone, actually yes. Um, so what I tend to do when I first start is I follow like the lines of any just like random shape that I have um, with the art. Um, like here, let me go grab a, another one that I have I just did. So for this one, um, there's a lot more shapes that I could just like pull into and draw on. So as you can see, like I just tend to follow some of these and then it makes it so much easier to um, like figure out kind of what I'm drawing and kind of where I want to leave it blank. Like didn't color up here because the gold was really too pretty to color over. Um, and then kind of just make random shapes from there. Um, I, I recently just started doing the flowers and then incorporating all the line work um, before I would just end up doing the lines. <laughs> hey, no worries. I actually didn't answer that question, so I appreciate you asking. Um, yeah, and it's kind of hard to know when to stop, honestly. Like, I finished this piece yesterday, and it's one of those things where it's like, do I stop? Do I continue? And um, I'm going off of the uh, the less is more, I would say. So yeah. There goes that pen. Yeah, that's, that's the only problem with sealing it beforehand is sometimes the, uh, I'll stop it, my dog wants to get in here. Um, the inks do not like showing up on uh, the sealed paper. So I just basically doodle and uh, just get them to work. End up just pushing it down a lot. There it goes. No, you do not have too many questions. Ask away. Yes, I have tried Inktober. I think uh, the huge problem I have is timing. Um, it's like whenever I can paint, I paint. Um, unfortunately, the uh, I don't always do well with like painting off of like a you tell me a word and then you paint or like when you paint um, every day. Like I just can't. I can't do that. Uh, I've tried to do that and. <laughs> The work that comes from that is absolute shit. So uh, 
I have stopped. I have stopped doing that. Um, I've done a few of the like Nara, um, like monthly things. Um, do you have you heard of Nara paper before? They, uh, they're what I use. Uh, solely what I use, honestly. They're uh, they're the best paper that I've found so far for alcohol inks um, or any non-porous paper. Really, they're great. They don't stain. Um, but yeah, no no Inktober for me. Yeah, see, okay, I don't know. It's, I think some, I think for some people it works really well having a, like every single day prompt. Uh, I just, I just can't, I feel like it, it ends up forcing me to do something that I don't want to draw. Like, I only paint whenever I feel like it. So yeah, I don't know. So what do you, what do you draw then? Are you realism? Do you like, do you like trees or animals? Like, what do you draw? Okay. Yeah, my uh, my coworker actually, she started using watercolor, um, I don't know, maybe September. Um, and she had never once picked up watercolors before. And she's been doing the most incredible nature stuff that I have ever seen. And I'm like, damn, I was like, you are so talented. I'm like, there's no way you just picked up those like uh, watercolors and you've never done them before. <laughs> and she's like, nope, first time. I'm like, damn. It's like practice makes perfect, but I guess some people just have natural talent for this stuff. But yeah, she does a lot of natural stuff, which I enjoy a lot. I tried to do um, realism before, and I suck more, <laughs> more than anything. Um, I wish I could. It's just, it's never been like in my wheelhouse of things that I've been able to do. I'm better with the abstract. <laughs> I also feel like I really can't do anything wrong. Um, and obviously you, you don't, <laughs> not saying people think like their drawings are wrong, but I, I always just get so critical of myself. Like up the live stream. Oh, thank you. See, that's a whole natural talent thing. And that's the whole thing. It's like, I, I saw recently, and I think TikTok's been like a blessing in disguise where I feel so much more comfortable showing my work. And like, so what? So this under piece was a piece of shit. Like, I, I, can, I can acknowledge that, but I can make it better. Like, I can do really fun things on top about it, like on top of it to make it better. Um, but like, I think we just have to like acknowledge it sometimes. Sometimes I'm not happy with things, but sometimes it just is what it is. It is a learning experience. And you can only go up from there. Like the funny, the funny things about ink is that whenever it's too humid, the ink does not like to play. And it looks awful. So I don't know. I don't know if you can really see it with the video, but like there's some of these like weird divots. Wow, it looks really purple on video. Um, there's these weird like divots when the rings you can't really see it um should have just been like i don't know delicate and like like these ones and it's because the humidity so it kind of messed up um the painting so but don't try to be too hard on yourself i think that's the worst thing we can do as artists is be so hard on our hard on ourselves 
I mean, do you have fun? Like when you paint? Or sketch, I should say. Whoa, those legs went up. Jesus Christ. Crystal! I love bug. <laughs> hey, no worries. Um, I, I don't honestly know, um, Billy, what I asked. I think um, I said, do you enjoy sketching? So then I feel like if you enjoy it, there's no reason to be too hard on yourself. It's like, we have enough shit going on these days. Just, just enjoy it. And also side note. Ooh. Okay, so for charcoal then, I always like, I see these artists on TikTok and like, you know, in general, using charcoal. Um, How do you just like use that and not be come covered in charcoal or like the one problem I have with inks and why I wear gloves is because I get it everywhere and I mean everywhere <laughs> I uh I tend to wear black anytime I'm touching ink because I legit cannot not get the ink everywhere it's all over my walls and the floor baseboards you know you name it it's got ink on it <laughs> you sound just like Bob Ross. Those little happy accidents. I finally got my Girl Scout cookies today. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm on middle of box one, and we just opened them. They're so good. Okay, so you went to art school. I ended up going to business school. Um, I don't know. I feel like I've always been an artist at heart, but I never thought I'd be able to like do this full time for a living. But it's been a great business so far. Well, I've enjoyed it. COVID's kind of 
really fucked up life and uh, this is the only thing that kind of keeps me sane anymore. Hmm. Okay. Do you do any gallery work then? Or I guess not gallery. What else do you do? That's honestly kind of all I know about our industry so far. I'm learning through all these like TikTok people that I'm following about like what else you can do besides, you know, art. But um, yeah, I feel like it's like this like, oh, marketing. Okay. See, I used to do marketing right out of, um, right out of college. I was a marketing coordinator, um, and yeah, not not my jam. I uh, I'd have to like make all these surveys and all that stuff, um, but I, that's how I did end up in project management. So I guess you know, can't complain too much. I ended up where I needed to be. Mm, okay. Yeah, I, um, I've worked with basically any department you can possibly think of, but the marketing firm that when I originally graduated college and, like, was working with, um, was for a credit repair marketing firm, funny enough. Um, so I ended up working, like, in specifically the creative department. Uh, so I work with all, like, the creative directors, copywriters, and that kind of stuff. Um, Right now, I work with just developers and like legal and that kind of stuff. Sorry if you hear my dog barking, my kid keeps trying to sneak down the stairs. Thinks he's so sneaky. And the color is not taking right here. I think I sprayed too much sealant, unfortunately. May have to go over that with another one. Yeah, exactly. 
I don't know. I mean, like, it's a job. I, um, it's been weird. I feel like through this whole pandemic and all that stuff, like, uh, I had, like, some come-to-Jesus moments there of what do I want to be doing and, uh, you know, I think <laughs> just like everyone, I had a, a weird life crisis of, like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Um, and a little bit in there, I was having some depressive problems because COVID just, good lord, so many problems, honestly. Um... And um, that's honestly why I started this company. I like I couldn't handle it anymore, and I needed some sort of outlet. And then I ended up switching jobs. Like, <laughs> oops, yeah, I didn't mean to shake you a few different times. But I'm happy where I am now, uh, job wise, and I'm happy with what I'm doing painting wise. Learning new stuff every day. So do you, uh, do you watch Marvel or any sort of movies at all? Okay. Yeah, that's, that was the one concern about, like, switching jobs, honestly. Like, I, uh, I ended up getting pretty sick, um, in 2019. And I wasn't sure if I could move jobs. Um, okay. Yeah, that's, that's the only shitty thing, thing about, like, I feel like, I don't know if you're in the U.S., I'm assuming. Um, but companies, is they don't take care of their employees a ton, which is super weird. But then you don't have the freedom to move anywhere because you're like, well, if I leave, I'm never getting hired back. <laughs> um, yeah, so I asked about the Marvel because... Um, I just saw Venom the other night, like, uh, we rented it as a, as a movie, because I hate going to the theater, um, and it was really, really good. I've heard the, uh, that Spider-Man one that just came out is, like, uh, top six in, like, top grossing movies, which is insane. It's like, Jesus. Also, hi, Bean. Hey, Rachel. 
uh, woodworking. I'm trying to slowly manipulate my husband. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm trying to get him into woodworking so I can have him make frames for me because I really don't want to keep paying for them from like a, another vendor. I mean, don't get me wrong. The vendor's great, but you know. Food garden has almost become an artist's hobby. Hmm. That's one thing I really do want to start up this year is some sort of food garden. Um, I feel like every time we go to the grocery store or have people deliver groceries, like they don't have fruit and uh, it would be nice to grow our own. Yeah. Because like I feel like that's the next stage and like my art is a... Uh, Excuse me, is to like have framed art. Like as of right now, I I stopped selling frames with the art because it was so expensive for me to then buy them and then make like the client pay for them themselves. It was like Jesus. I feel like I'm robbing people. Um, but I feel like if it's a wooden frame where the painting is actually affixed to the frame, um, I feel like that's okay and that adds value because the frames that he makes are like gorgeous, which is why I buy them. But yeah, it would be nice to uh, do that ourselves. Plus, it's a good hobby. And his uh, his dad does woodworking, so I'm like, hey, you should learn from him and then get a hobby because like every night, I mean, I've got this, but like I have a... Uh, I started doing some calligraphy, um, like super beginning stages, like, like I'm doing just like the line work still. Like I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. Um, I'm taking one of those like, uh, online courses of it now. But, like, yeah. So this is the other hobby, uh, besides all the painting that I do. So it, it, ow, it'd be good for him to do something. Hey Rachel, do you paint at all? Or color or sketch or anything like that? Oh no, Billy was just asking Rachel if uh, if she paints or sketches or anything like that. Yeah, I'm playing uh, like music in the background. I have no idea if you can hear that. I keep also like making sure that you don't hear me chew because I always hate that. So hopefully I'm not chewing too loud either. Perfect. 
I'm glad. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do not blame you. Um, like, you know how people, um, what are those things called? When they eat like a ton of food, um, like, <laughs> ice crunching. Um, like, what, what is it called? Mukbang or something? Mukbok or something like that? When like they eat a ton of things, I just, uh, I can't because all I hear is chewing. I'm like, ooh, this, this was not for me. <laughs> can't stand it. Hey, Frankie. Yes, mukbang, that's what it is. Yeah, I can't stand them. You know, it's like this weird phenomenon where people like, from what I understand, it, um, it started out as like, so you don't have to eat alone, like someone was eating with you. And like you could just watch them eat um, while you ate so you weren't so lonely. But then from what I understand, people started going kind of to the extreme with it. And not just like eating, you know, normal portions. They were eating like, like 30 burgers and like 25 chicken McNugget meals and like ex excessive food. Um... So it stopped becoming like a wholesome thing and just kind of became gross. Um, so yeah, mm. not my cup of tea. Lately I've been watching this uh, YouTube series. Um, I think it's like self-sustaining or something like that. This guy's like off grid and uh, he there's like no sound to it, nothing. And he just builds and it's just really nice and quiet and calming. Yeah, all you can hear is like nails, like when he like bangs the nails into wood, that's it. Besides that, it's super quiet. You can hear the birds sometimes, there's a dog barking randomly, but it's very quiet. Okay, yeah, see. Alright, well, I think that's all I'm going to do tonight. I appreciate you, uh, can I flip this around so I can see you? Maybe not. I have no idea how to do that. Anyway, um, Billy, thank you for joining me. Um, I'm going to start trying to go live. Thank you. Um, try to go live more often, just kind of do these doodly things since I like drawing and chatting with people. So um, have a great night and I will talk to you later.